Hi everyone. So finally in this video we are going to be using the GTK wave software to analyze our waveform, our output waveform. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the code from our NOT gate uh, module that we wrote uh, in one of the earlier videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these display B from uh, lines from here. So let's get rid of these. And now what I want to do is I want to create a, a file that will open in GTK wave which shows me uh, certain variables there. And uh, the way to do that is to first add a statement which says dump file and within this I need to give a name for my dump file. So let's give it the name waveform and the extension for a dump file is vcd which stands for uh, very lock change dump. So this is our dump file now and the next thing we need to do is we need to specify which variables we want dumped into that. So that's given by dump vars and uh, this dump vars function takes two arguments actually. The first one is a level and the level could be either zero or one. Uh, the second argument is basically which module I want uh, the dump file to contain uh, variables from. So if I say uh, not gate, actually it should be not, not gate like this, which is this not gate of mine. So I want the uh, variables from this not gate module to be uh, put into this waveform file. And now I need to give the level. So as I said, there are two levels, zero and one. And the level zero means that I want all variables from this um, from this not gate module to be put into my uh, GTK file dump file, and uh, that's what I'm going to use here. If I give a one, I can actually specify just particular variables which I want in my dump file, but I'm not going to be doing that for now. So I just give the level as zero. And within GTK wave as well, we can select variables, which is why I'm not very bothered about uh, the level here. So let's go ahead and actually compile this. So when I compile this, uh, this does not create any dump file right now. I need to run it to, for it to create it. So I say waveform.vvp right here. And now, as you can see, uh, here is my waveform.vcd file, which I can now open in GTK wave. So let's go ahead and do that. So I say GTK wave and waveform.vcd. And as you can see right here, it has opened GTK wave and here I have test bench and I have not gate. From here, I have wire B. And let's take a look at this code first. So what's happening is initially A is zero, which means B is going to be one. Uh, and this now you'll understand better. This is a continuous assignment. So when A is zero, B is going to be one. Then at 10, B is going to become zero. At 20, B is going to become one again. So let's look at this. So initially B is one it is high then at 10 seconds it drops down to 0 at 20 it goes back to 1 and at 30 it again goes back to uh, 0 and I can also put my cursor right here to see that my marker is at 6 seconds seconds right now and it says B equals 1 right here so that's basically how we get our waveform our output waveform in gtk wave and that's what i wanted to show you in this video in the next video we'll look at some slightly complicated module we'll write that and we'll open that in gtk wave so stay tuned for that